Hi there, Cancer, Cancer Sun, Moon, and Rising Sign. This is your March 2021 Love Monthly Forecast Reading with me, Chrissy, from In The Stars by Chrissy.com. So please do know that this is a general reading, so it may or may not tune in to every Cancer people out there, so just keep that in mind. So what we are really taking a look on this month is really more on the energy and influence on how things might be occurring for us what might be transpiring for us in a very personal level and in our love and relationship situation as well. It might be something very personal, something, you know, happening in our home life, family life, relationships of all sorts as well. So just keep that in mind. So anyway, without any further ado, let's just go into the reading and see what's going on for each and every cancer people out there. And we are starting off with the um, planetary energy that is influencing us during this month and what you have right now is the planet of mercury and mercury has a lot to do with our thoughts our communication has a lot to do with the everyday life and it can have a lot to do with career as well with trade and marketing and all of those kinds of things so mercury is very much activated for you so there could be a lot of negotiations, a lot of um, conversations, communication that might have some form of influence for you this month. Um, and we are having the first card over here is the tower card, which is, you know, an element of surprise. Something is abrupt and being crossed over by the wheel of fortune. So this is a, a situation where and I kind of feel that if there was something that has been stagnant in your life right now you know you could be in a in a situation wherein you wanted to change a form of relationship a situation or you're suddenly having a light bulb like um maybe you are getting bored or there is a form of stagnancy in your life right now that you wanted to change and this is going to be an element of um either construction or destruction all of those kinds of things when we have the tower card it's something that is always unexpected something that we we really don't have any control over and i would say that th this could be also a situation where in um your emotions right now are on high uh, maybe the way that you communicate with people right now is really more on an, an emotional level so you are easily swayed by your own emotions or you can emotionally react into certain things and you know that might work for you in a positive way or a negative way it really depends right now um, to how this will play out for you we also have here, you know, I kind of feel that there's going to be negotiations that might come in. There's going to be a lot of conversations, a lot of communications all at the same time. If you have been working on certain projects or there is something that you wanted to um, to achieve or some form of project or goal that you wanted to um, make a make a progress on this is something that you are going to be pursuing for the month of march 2021 and for example if you are wanting to start a business you might be seeking some form of partnership you're going to be talking to a lot of people regarding uh, your business venture and all of that you know um, the, the things that can actually aid and help you in your goal desire and achievements in life is something that you are going to be working on and pursuing during this time this can also be a situation in wherein if this is a relationship problem a, a situation that has been stagnant for far too long um and nothing is really happening nothing is really moving this is going to be a time wherein you're actually going to initiate some form of conversations and it could be something that you did not entirely plan but you feel within your core within your heart that you need to do something about it you need to say something about it or this can also be a situation wherein you know um, something quite fated um, unexpected but meant to occur will most likely manifest in your life and in your relationship and that triggers a new start into things uh it could be that you know um uh, it's not really about controlling the situation right now you you cannot control the situation that is happening in your life it's i kind of feel that um 
when whenever I think about cancer, cancer is like a, a crab. You know, they're always hidden. They're always inside of their shell. But um, this is really a point wherein I kind of feel that you are you are going out of that shell. You know, you're going out of your comfort zone. You're going out of uh, of the cave and starting your venture, starting your life. You're, you're not going to stay hidden. Uh, so if you are the type of person who has been really passive and not doing anything about your life situation, this is going to be the time wherein you are going to take action. You know, it may start off with your own feelings. It may start off with your words. It may start off with your own emotions. But I kind of feel that this is going to be the month wherein you are going to tweak something in your life, in your relationship, and bring some form of change to enter your life again i do say again and again that i do see a lot of uh, conversations a lot of you know maybe you want to work things out you know you are going to do something to negotiate something to talk to someone uh, regarding certain ventures and i kind of feel that uh, this is really more of a point wherein what do you feel right now is going to influence your own action so we do have here the star card which really will really tell us that you are quite hopeful of the change that you are going to be doing so regardless of the action that you are about to take whether it is a positive one or a negative one maybe you are scared about taking action and maybe it is quite scary for you um regardless of how scary the scale is for you i kind of feel that you are going to take action in hopes that things are going to fall into place at the right time you know so there's a form of divine timing at play at here you are also in a situation right now wherein you feel that you are ready to move forward you are ready to set sail and you're not really at the point of being stuck and being doubtful anymore you are not unsure of things you are really more um um it's like uh, you are at the point of your life where and you tell yourself that, hey, I'm ready, I'm ready to do this. And whether you like it or not, whether you agree with my decisions or not, I'm really going to push forward and do this uh, thing or a situation, whatever it is that you are going to come across. We do also have here the High Priestess and the Nine of Cups, really more of e emphasizing as that you are definitely going to be um, following your heart, what re your, your feelings, your heart is telling you, you are going to be uh, doing something that makes you happy, makes you feel better about certain things and what will help you reach more of your goals, what will help you reach your dreams coming true that kind of situation so i kind of feel that you know there are going to be answers that is going to be presented to you maybe you are meant to create some form of conversations maybe you're meant to make some form of contracts relationship during this time with a specific person or i don't know i just know here for a fact that there's going to be some form of mercury oriented thing which has a lot to do with communication thoughts conversations communication contracts of all sorts um making a deal or uh, um setting some form of rules maybe or uh, maybe for some of you guys it, it could be a situation wherein you are going to give someone a time limit i mean it really is going to differ right now all i know is that you are going to be doing something and you are going to communicate that which you think will help your situation and it's going to come from the heart and uh, i kind of feel that you know even though you are hesitant and maybe you don't like to do this change you don't want to do this change because i kind of feel that the situation that actually um, allows you to create action and make some form of change is something that you don't want to do you're not comfortable in doing so there's a lot of fears in that but uh, we are seeing here that we have here the Nine of Cups. And the Nine of Cups is a wish fulfilling card. So regardless that you don't like the action that you are about to take or the situation is not really favorable to you, um, by pursuing what you believe in, it's actually going to lead you to some form of happy ending or you might actually find that, you know, it wasn't really so hard to 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 say what i think about this you know 
it was not meant to be so complicated in the first place. Why did I had to complicate things, you know? So there is really more of a signal here that, you know, you have waited enough. You have been really patient. You have, you know, you have, you have stand um, the test of time, I would say. And, you know, this is really more of a green light and telling you that, hey, it's time. It's time to go. It's time to start that venture. It's time to push forward. And that's really what you have to know. You know, we, we are getting some form of green light. So you have to take a look on what you are feeling right now. What is it? What are, what ideas are coming into your head right now? Um, what impulsive things that are coming into your mind? And, you know, I, I would say that for a lot of cancer people, um, to listen to your heart and to listen to what you are truly feeling, not in a place of fear but in a place of what you truly desire and want to happen into your life because i kind of feel that that is really going to give you the answer that is really meant for you that is something that you need to hear that you need to know and that is going to be something that will also benefit you in the long run so following your own sense of intuition following your inner voice what your higher self is telling you what what your gut feelings are telling you to do or say and act i can feel that it's not going to um it's not going to fail you it is something that you're not going to regret because it is something that is going to make you happy in the end so um yeah this is it my for my reading for you cancer people out there i do hope that this reading gives you insight and clarity to your situation i do apologize for the late uploads on my march 2021 forecast so um yeah if you do want a more personal reading you can do that by booking a session with me through my website in the stars by Chrissy.com. all information will be down below the description of this video and i shall see you guys again next month. Goodbye!